Over in Connecticut, work is underway right now to demolish an overpass in Norwalk, Connecticut. It was damaged yesterday morning when a tanker truck crashed into it and a fire was ignited under that bridge. As a result, the governor says the highway will be shut down for at least a couple of days. Yeah, this is a major artery leading to New York City. Joe Cortez is live in studio this morning with more on the timeline ahead for this weekend. Joe. Well, Patrick, Kate, here's a look at that blaze. Scorching hot flames shooting underneath the Fairfield Avenue bridge. Now officials hope to get the highway back up and running by Monday. They began that demolition process at around 3 o'clock this morning. Now, the bridge was less than 10 years old, but Connecticut Department of Transportation commissioners said the damage was pretty severe. The steel did begin to overheat and warp. The crash left other highways and secondary roads in gridlock. The major alternate route in the area is the Merritt Parkway, but it can't be used by trucks because of the underpasses on that highway being too low. The governor said text alerts were sent out to residents of Connecticut, New York and New Jersey, as well as the trucking companies, but he's urging residents to take the train and avoid the roads. The steel um, did begin to overheat and warp. Um, so, and it is a contiguous beam bridge, which means the beams go across both spans of the highway. Uh, unfortunately, it's not able to be uh, safely reopened um, in either direction underneath that bridge. The crash also came just over a year after a similar wreck on I-95 in Connecticut that forced the closure of the highway. And we've also seen many other events across the country that have compromised bridges. Now, work is expected to be finished by Monday, but we'll keep you updated on a timeline. Live in the studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.